Welcome to today's video, everybody. We are starting off at Shin Yokohama. Literally right there is Shin Yokohama Stadium. Nissan Stadium. So, you know, I, naturally I brought, I didn't bring my Nissan, I brought my Suzuki. But um, <laughs> this is the skate park they have here. It's completely free. You just have to read the rules and then they give you a van. And this place is huge. This is one of them. There's a second one over there and there's like a third one as well. But have a look at everything that's here. Also, I'm a little nervous. I'm the only guy here with a BMX right now. So with a pink of, one too. Yeah, and it's pink. <laughs> Every, and it's like a super expensive bike too. So everyone's probably expecting amazing things from me and I'm like the trashiest, most noobest BMXer ever. So we're gonna hang out for a little bit. I'm gonna practice, you know, my 180s and hitting something, I don't know. I just wanna get back into this. And now that I know this is here, and it's literally like 10, 15 minutes down the road from my house. And free. And it's open from nine to nine every day. Oh, okay, So great. it's perfect. And this is like really good to help me get into shape for other things happening. Um, so yeah, this is, this is good. Hopefully we don't stop it. Let's go in and have some fun. A bit more about my bike. Um, I don't really know anything about it. Adam just said this was a good bike. So I bought it and then he, he made it pink. But I think it's got like a bunch of shadow parts on there or something. Apparently it was like a signature bike from some uh, Brazilian guy, I think. But yeah, everything's shadow branded, whatever that means. I don't know, but yeah. Your anxiety level. My anxiety level is above my head. Um, but hey, look, we found a fellow BMXer. Maybe we can become friends and he can teach me how to do stuff. Look, this guy's like a pro. You yeah, guys just go around like that. In it. All right, you ready? That's cool. No, I'm not ready. <laughs> Showing some progress. Okay. So, what's your goal this year? What's my goal this year? Yes. Uh, I want to do a boss spin. I want to be able to do one of these things. Like this, you know? And I want to do a, like a like a tail, like whatever that's called. I don't know. That's not wrong. You gotta get fit first. I gotta get thicker. Fit. Fit. Oh yeah, fit. Good job, good job. Have a nice. Taking a quick moment to remind you guys about the merch drop that just went live on Summit.net. A bunch of stuff is already gone, but there are still some things available. So head to Summit.net right now, grab what you still can before it all goes, and let's get back to the video. We are done with the BMX park now. I'm a little concerned about tomorrow morning, whether or not I am going to be able to get out of bed and my legs are gonna work. But I feel like we did a lot of progress today. I started to figure out some new things with the bike and like how I need to lift the front up more. Um, all your advice, by the, way, by the way, in the comments, greatly appreciated. I take it all with a grain of salt though. And I'm just Google searching a lot of things of how to do on the bike and just get comfortable and whatnot. But yeah, obviously don't expect me to be a pro yet. Um, geez, that scared me. <laughs> But yeah, no, I'm I'm excited about getting into a new skill and what that's gonna lead to. So, more BMX content coming soon. Um, but yeah, I totally sucked out there. I went over the footage, I'm like, ugh, ugh, God, ugh, I don't look good at all. But I'm learning and that's what's important. And you all gotta start somewhere. Even though I have a bright pink bike and everyone was watching everything I did. <laughs> but anyways, we are now on our way to where, mate? Nissan headquarters. Global headquarters Global. at that here in Sorry. Yokohama because they have a really couple cool you know, cars that we want to check out. You know what you I realized? What? Where were we before? Shin Yokohama, the Nissan Global the Nissan Stadium. Nissan Stadium yeah. Park. Yeah. It was actually Nissan's park. Yeah. And then we're now going to another Nissan park that well it's, not it's not really a park, but yeah. It's the headquarters, but it is a park. So we can bring bottom. my BMX bike in there, right? I still got my wristbands. <laughs> Imagine that just so Jump Nissan, up onto Nissan a is, is taking care of us for the day. Yeah, we're doing Nissan related stuff. Yes. Nissan. Oh, Nissan!
We're just walking into Nissan and they got their little electric charging station here, but what on earth is that thing? I've never seen that before, that car. Oh, it's a Porsche. There you go. Porsche has an electric car, I guess. Ooh, looks like they got some cool cars on display. By the way, this is like May's idea of an amazing date. I locked out. You, why are you running so fast? Are you that excited? Dude, she's on a mission. <laughs> Your favorite car? Okay. All right. I like this color. You like this color? Yeah. Have you seen the new 35 GTRs they released? The T-Spec ones? No. You know what the T's for? T-Series. Yeah, the, the T-Spec it's called. No, like the T-Series. No. <laughs> PewDiePie does not approve. It's pretty cool though. It's got a bunch of cool features. Love the logo. Though I wish they'd stop beating to death this chassis. Make something new, Nissan. Come on, bring us the R36 already. We want to see it. I do like the Midnight Purple though. Yeah, this is like the new Midnight Purple. I think they call it something else though, but it's pretty cool. It's expensive. Yeah, so it's like 170 grand. Well, I mean, it depends oh, like oh. which version you get track and upgrades. Edition. The Track Edition engineered, yeah, Nismo T-Spec, yeah. If you get the fully maxed out Nismo one, it's 170 grand. It's nice. I dig this color. It's cool to see them doing like midnight purple kind of looks again. They have other colors. This looks similar to the 33 midnight purple. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are like the colors they did with the 34s with the V-Specs and stuff. Pretty yeah, nice. and they did the Bayside blue again. Pretty much, I think Nissan just saw what uh, happened to the 34s and now they're like, oh, let's try and do the same thing with the 35s and make more money. Still, it's a cool car and I want a 35 at some point in my life. Whoa, babe. I don't know, some kind of robot labyrinth maze thing. God, I love Japan. They have the weirdest stuff. Oh, look, the kids can steer it apparently. I don't know, I'm confused. This looks cool though. I think we're in trouble. What are you doing over here, May? You're getting that, right? What? The These? Proto. The Proto? Yeah. I didn't even know if we will. I didn't even know well, if we we're going to be able to. I have a confession. What? I put it in for the drawer. The drawer? Yeah. Because they're only making like 200 or something, right? Yeah. And if you're lucky enough to win the drawer, you get the op the option to be able to buy it. Yeah. It so. came out like two weeks ago. Only for people who signed up for the mail magazine. <laughs> I was in the mail magazine. So. The what magazine? The mail magazine? Yeah, for the pair of ladies that there's a mail magazine group that you need to be on there. Well, you mean like men's magazine? Like mail? Did I say men magazine? You said mail magazine. Oh, ma okay, sorry, that's Japanese. A mail mag it's like emailing list. <laughs> I'm so confused for a second there. So you want one of these? Wait, hang on. You signed us up for the Proto Z? Yeah. May, that's like 70 grand. So if I win, it's 70 grand. <laughs> you can get a loan. Oh. 200. It's going to be 200 only. only yeah, but then I'm just going to drift it and break it. Okay, we'll need a mutual agreement. I'll make a paperwork. You're gonna make me sign an NDA? Yes. <laughs> what do you like more, the orange or the yellow? Of course. Yeah, I don't know, Does the, doesn't the Proto Z only come in this color? Uh, yes, but it looks cool. Right? But if you, unique? I think like if you get the Proto Z, you get it before everyone else, right? That's the whole point, the reason why well, everyone wants it. be the only one. The only one that you can get yeah. until like next year, right? Something like that. No, it's not going to be the Proto anymore. No, that's what I'm saying. You, if you want the new Z uh, yes, before yes. everyone else, your only option is to try and get the Proto Z. Correct. Because these come out way before you can get the standard model exactly. ones. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So. It does look good though. I like the overfenders. I only just noticed that now. Like the overfenders and the little bit of a wide body on it compared to the stock one over here. Yeah, yeah. It's so different. Looks so much nicer. Dude, I'm really excited about these cars and for the tuning industry. Very, very cool. They look aggressive as. Definitely need some 17s in the front though. Put a big angle kit. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Not putting 17s on this. Maybe 18s. This looks good though. It looks so nice. 
And then over here, this is the new engine, the VR30DDTT. It's got the double Ds. DDTT. DDTT. Mm, yeah, that'll oh, no. that'll that write. Sounds very wrong. Okay. It does. So let's see. This is pretty cool. Intake. Yeah. So this is the intake. Where's the exhaust? Integral exhaust. Yeah. You got this. Exhaust. Yeah. That's the oil filter, me. Where's the exhaust? Well, if this is the turbo, that's the exhaust that comes out there and comes out. Ah, okay. Oh, wow, actually. No! It's not? They're doing that weird thing, guys, where the, there is no exhaust manifold. The turbo bolts directly onto their head. Oh, that's interesting. That's like the new super engine. The A90 engine does that. What do you mean? It, it... Ah, there's no manifold. It's built into the head. See, the turbo just bolts straight to the ah. head now. I see now. Interesting. I mean, it helps with space stuff. I guess. But the porting inside is what's going to make it make or break it. How well it flows, right? Oh, that's super interesting. I didn't know that. So it is very different than to the 35 engine then. Yo, this is cool. The turbo's spinning in there, guys. That's sick. Interesting. Oh. The Coil pack. Coil pack. Yeah. Yeah, so this is a V6, mate. Yeah, I know. You know? V6. Oh, okay. Yeah, it says here. What about the supercharger? You like that? Supercharger. I haven't heard that for a while. That's not a supercharger. That's an aircon compressor. Why did you say it's a supercharger? I just wanted to see if you knew. What's a supercharger? I'm testing you. It's like the thing that you don't use the turbo, but you use supercharger and then it goes away, oh, right? Kind of, yeah. You, use a, you have a belt normally going to like something above on the intake kind of thing. Uses the belt instead of the exhaust gases to drive it. It's pretty cool though. What's this? That is the coolant input. So this is ah, probably okay. like where the radiator will connect up. There's a lot on this. It's bulky. There's like massive TPS sensors there. These intercoolers are interesting. They have to be water to the air, right? They have to be. They have like blue lights in there that has to be like a water to air intercooler right no way is that just going to be air like that on the top i hope it's a water to air intercooler regardless this is going to be a bit like one of the first things that people are going to upgrade for sure when it comes to like high horsepower applications on these motors but yeah man it looks so cool these engine display like cutaway Things are like an entirely different level now. You got pistons, rotating crank, and everything. It's really interesting. The valves are moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cams moving. Yeah. That's cool looking in the valley there. Yeah. Gives you a really good idea. And it reflects off the light. Yeah, it's it super cool. cool. That's sick. Dude, look how close the pistons get to those valves. Woo! I'm really excited about this. The intake manifold looks super cool. It's gonna be really cool to see like all the new parts coming out for this motor. I wonder what the exhaust flow is gonna be like now that the ports are in the head like that. The super motor doesn't seem to have that many problems, so hopefully it flows well. It's cool to see them using V-bands too on these turbos. These turbos are tiny. Can't wait to see some upgrades for these things. Water cooled intercooler. Yeah, water cooled. Okay, I was gonna say there's no way that they would be air. Electronic variable valve. So I just noticed something interesting. The fuel rail has metal lines that come to this. Does that mean that's a mechanical fuel pump? Huh. I'm very interested in that now. That's mind blowing. Really? Does anyone know about this? I'm really intrigued by that. If that's a mechanical fuel pump, that's kind of cool. Huh. Wow, electronic controlled blow off valves. Like this thing's got everything. Very cool, bunch of cool technology on this. I'm also scared though, if you wanna like do some motorsport with this, how much stuff you're gonna have to switch off or if it'll even let you switch it all off. I noticed another thing. What? There's grammatical. There's bad, bad, bad Look. English. Okay, this is where the sentence ends, right? Yeah. 
no and then capital, the no capital letter, letter since the Nissan. Yeah, okay. And then here, max power. Max dot, dot power. power. Max, max dot, dot talk. talk. Yeah, there's some weird things there. But that's okay. They're doing their best. I, I mean, I'll overlook all the bad English because this looks to cool. They also capitalize this. Yeah, you're right. One side. Oh wait, there's another one here. Yeah, I think this is meant to be flipped around the other way, but... Oh, okay. I don't know, it's confusing how it's just sitting here, but... <laughs> the new Z GT500 car looks insane. Can't wait to see that thing racing. I love that body kit. Looks baller ass. Doesn't that look amazing? It's cool that that's all shot at Fuji Speedway too. <sighs> I need one of these. so much because of the headlights. It looks like my eyes. <laughs> really? Does it? That's how I put my, my, my eyeliner. <laughs> really? I can't... You see? Oh my god, now I cannot unsee that. This show? Oh my gosh. It was meant to be. It was... You're way too excited about yeah. that. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm gonna have to get it for you. <laughs> Damn it. They have another one of the new Zs on display here, and you get a really good look at the interior in this one. It's kind of really nice. Mm. I really hope they don't have that coating on it like they did in the 350Z and the 370Z that the after like a couple years of sun and heat that it just started all peeling off very quickly. But for the most part, it looks really nice. There's a lot of suede in there, yeah. which looks cool. It's really nice. Yeah, it does a little bit, doesn't it? But they still didn't fix the freaking handbrake thing. It's all no! <laughs> Nissan, what are you doing? Why is the handbrake on the left side again? Oh, that it. pisses me off so much. I hate that. They do that for the left-hand drive car that they're making. That's been the perfect position for everyone in the States because of left-hand drive, right? Yeah. But they keep it in the same spot I need, I need even it if it's right-hand drive. drive. That makes me rage. Not cool, Nissan, that's, fix it. All right, I'm gonna be hitting my boys up at GK Tech for a hydro for that very fast. I mean, I don't know if they can even, we'll work with them to make a hydro, because that's, that's BS. I'm pissed about that. Nissan, what are you doing? <sighs> I'm so mad. But all of that aside, I'm really excited to uh, get my hands on one of these when we can and have some fun with them because, I mean, we're gonna find out all the little problems with these things together and it's gonna be fun. I bet you there's gonna still be a lot of things that are gonna frustrate us about this car. I'm not gonna be surprised if when you turn traction control off, it's still on 60%, just yeah. like the 350s and the 370s and you gotta cut and snip wires and stuff, but it'll be fun learning with the new platform. I've never had like a new platform before. Yeah. I've, I've, like, I mean, this is the first time that this has happened in a long time. Yeah. Two, I've never been able to financially be in a position where I mean, to be honest, we're still not in a financial position to be able to do that right away, but we'll make it work. We'll make something happen. Maybe we'll say goodbye to a couple cars. I don't know. Man. What? The handle. The handle's different? It's metal now, man. Yeah, it looks like it's metal. I don't know. I, I don't want to touch it, but <laughs> there's a little button there. I guess that's to unlock the car. Maybe. It looks a bit weird. There's like a little knob, just a little tiny knob there. Nissan making little knobs on their Zs. <laughs> that's weird. You have to admit, that's weird. The inside one is the same as the last one. Yeah, it kind of looks the same as all the Z's, doesn't it? Oh man, I just want to drive one. Hit me up in the DMs, Nissan. Let's do something. I love the rear end. It's so cool. I like it. Let's go look at the classic old Z32s. Let's take a look at the classics. Of course, S30, 240Z. Oh, it's cute, right? You lo May loves this color green. 
She's all about this color. We got the Z32. Nice little target top. Another one here. I guess this is the full convertible one. Yeah, this has got the roof that comes out, I think. I think so. It's cool. Manual too. I like that. Man. I wonder if Nissan just like had these all in storage or like if they just started randomly buying them back like in the last like 10 years. Cause I didn't even think they were expecting that their old cars were gonna skyrocket in price as much as they did. Especially like the old like, you know, 80s and 90s sports cars. It's pretty dusty inside actually. It needs a nice little refresh. It's nice. You can really see how they're trying to go with like that old Nissan like Z look. Especially with this. Little Z logo there, and this in the back too. They really went for the old Z look on the new, the new Proto Z. Well, the new 20, what is it? The 2021, 2022 Z or something, right? They call it? I don't even know. I don't even know. Can we just call it the 400 Z? Why did they, why did they dodge that? I think we should just call it that. Back home now guys, and I really hope you enjoyed today's video, which is pretty much just like a regular weekend day of me and May hanging out. Um, the one exception though was the skate park. I am so hyped on that. I've been wanting to get into BMX again for the longest time since I came back, came back to Japan. But um, everything, like all the skate parks were closed and stuff just because of the pandemic and whatnot. And now that I know that that one is so good and so close to where we are, I'm even more motivated to get back into it. And it's I've, free. And it's free, yeah. That's awesome. I mean, that's, I think normally BMX parks are free in the States too. I mean, I never went to one that costs money, but I think one of that level should probably you'd pay for or something yeah. but and yeah that was only one portion of the skip yeah what you saw was just one portion it's so much bigger than that and there's like three other sections so like like fenced entirely different parks like their own there's like, like another there's like three or four total skate parks at that place it's insane so anyways i'm really hyped about that i hope you guys are too uh please give me a list of things that i need to start with to work myself up to like doing some decent tricks because I'm like already looking up how-to videos on how to bar spin and I feel like if I started there, that's probably a recipe for disaster. So <laughs> let me know well, wh where I should start and what I should be working on um, to get comfortable on the bike and more familiar with it. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about that. And uh, do you guys see the big hanging uh, tuna fish there? I, I found that the other day at the stock shop and I had to buy May that because Evo, if, if you know, you know about that. And don't worry, there's nothing inside that one. It's actually a pencil case, believe it or not. Are you sure? <laughs> no, I'm sure. I'm sure, definitely. There's nothing. I read it the other day. That was because you put your phone inside <laughs> there. Stop it, May. Um, this is a Christian channel. That aside, um, merch drop. Guys, thank you so much for everyone who grabbed some merch. There are still some sizes and things left. So if you missed out, go ahead to semit.net right now and see if there's anything still available that is your size. Go grab it while you still can before it's gone forever. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you again, guys, for your support. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace out. Jamata. <laughs>